Hello, um, Patara. I hope I'm saying that correctly. Um, I hope you are doing well uh, in, in this last couple weeks of the class. Um, I am doing your comment for week six of discussion board um, about redemption here. Um, I first off want to say that you did a wonderful job and I um, loved what you had to say about um, how redemption is going to play a role in your counseling or human service field and how it may play a role in um, a secular setting if you choose to work excuse me in um, in that kind of setting as well I'm going to jump right in here as well and kind of talk about um, how much I loved what you said about how Jesus never really pointed um, his spiritual finger finger or <laughs> I thought it was funny the physical finger too I think that's it's so interesting because um, unfortunately that's kind of how Christians have been um, portrayed often is like you know wagging their finger you know saying no you don't do this or whatever and I loved how you um, wrote about how that's that's not how Jesus was um, at all. He was very much loving, and and his the the uh, his redemptive qualities, the way he showed redemption to as you um, wrote the woman at the well and with Peter uh, are just some, of course, incredible examples of um, how we should act in these situations, um, and how we should show redemption uh, to others or how we should use redemption um, in situations um, with our clients, whether they are Christian or are um, not. I think um, redemption is something that it, it definitely is. A, and in doing research and reading um, the material that we've read, it is something that is it's such an innately Christian thing because without redemption, what is the story of what is what does it really mean to be a Christian is is my in my opinion um, what is the point of being a Christian or often I find more and more now it's like what is the point of even being a human if there's no redemption or hope um, in the in the world um, and that you know as Christians we can kind of see where like why we have redemption um, but I think what's important about it in the counseling setting or human service setting is that regardless of whether um, you're in a Christian or secular setting, you can use redemption to help someone get out um, get out of their sin, for lack of better words, or their, or their, their mess, you know, the, the messiness of, of mental health. Um, it can, redemption can be just such an incredible way of helping of helping someone and I uh, I love uh, what you had to say about all of that um, working in like what you said in a secular setting how prayer can be um, a tool that you can use either you know sometimes in secular settings if you if you know the other if the client is religious in any type of way it doesn't even just have to be Christian um, oftentimes you're able to say, do you mind if I pray for you? And even that can be a powerful thing, even if they're not religious or anything like that. Um, so these are just some of my thoughts about what you wrote. I loved what you had to say and um, hope you're sticking sticking with this, this course. We're almost done here and hope you're doing well and um, keep up the great work. Thanks so much. Bye.